hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video we'll be cooking ogbono soup yes ogbono with a bar <laughs> guys so if you want to see how i prepare this mouth watering dish please keep watching in here i have my ogbono ogbono seeds Guys, so in my hot pan, I'm going to put in my shoti, my abodi, and my pomo. And then I'm going to season with some stock cube, okay, and some pepper. This much pepper and some salt. And for now, I'm not going to add any water because I would like my meat to sweat out its own its own juice of moisture. And my beef because they all have the same cooking time. And guys, when you're cooking palm oil based soups, it's good to avoid uh, things, uh, spices like thyme, curry. And for this Ogono recipe, I'm not using any onions, okay? But if you want to, please feel free. But it will, I will appreciate it if you try this recipe just as it is. I mean, without onions. Guys, put in your uh, <clears throat> Ogono seeds and blend okay but i'm using my dry guys after blending this is how my powdered uh ogona seeds looks like okay it's powdered just and then this is how my crayfish i use the same blender in blending so yeah so guys, my meat has been cooking for about 40 minutes. I'm just going to add in my dry catfish fillet because you know, we want it soft. So this, and then my dry catfish. For this, I will just put it on top because I have to remove it later to debone it. And cover for another 15 minutes. So guys, uh, in a hot pot, okay, and for the record, the, the pot I used in boiling my meat is 7 liters, and this pot is 9 liters. I'm changing with this because I love space. I love to have space in everything I'm doing. I don't want to be... So I'm just going to put in my hot oil. Please remember that you're not bleaching your oil for your overnight. You just want it to dissolve. If your oil is too hot, it's more or less like you're frying your gono. And your gono, you will not really have that dryish <laughs> face or that dryish texture that you're going for. So you want your oil to be a little bit, uh, sorry, to be dissolved and then off your stove. Okay? Like what I'm doing here. Just show you. Now here, I'm going to turn off my stove because I need my stove to be uh, off. Just dissolve that. Guys, you can see that I've really stirred my ogbono and there are no lumps whatsoever in the ogbono. I'm just going to add in our stock bit by bit. Just like this. Just adding in your stuff and my stuff is still off at this stage for Ogbono if your Ogbono is really is good Ogbono 
It doesn't matter whether you close your, your pot, you cover your pot or not. If your opener is good, it's going to draw. But for some people, if you use already, that's why I don't use blended opener. Because sometimes when you buy blended opener, believe me, you, you don't know the process of, of, or you don't know what they added in it. So it's better to buy your seeds and blend yourself. Then you're sure of what your, 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 you're actually blending or what's in your blend okay and you can see what's going on here my stove is still off but you can see what's going on i'm just going to keep adding my water bit by bit i don't want i know the texture i'm going for so guys at this stage i've on my heat uh my burner so i'm just going to keep doing this and adding my stuff big by big so guys after you mix well with your stock just cover for another 20 minutes you want to really cook your guano not for five to ten minutes no if you cook your guano for about five to ten minutes all you'll be smelling in the soup is oh guano oh, guano and that's not what you want to smell yeah you want to eat soup you don't want to start smelling all sort of yeah so please try to cook this for about 20 minutes i'm just going to cover my pot and leave this to cook for 20 minutes so guys this is about after 20 minutes of uh cooking it you can see my ogono is still very slippery okay and this is the mm, this is the texture the consistency that i want with this ogono soup so to eat i'm just going to add in my euro guys if you have your if you have ogre yeah use it instead of you i am using iru because i couldn't find ogre i'm just going to add my fish and my snails my snails and then i'm going to just stir that you want to stir really well because you don't want lumps of crayfish in your food okay so please stir well and guys after stirring well i'm just going to start adding my meat all my meats with my dry fish and just stir that and cover the pots to cook for about five minutes before adding your vegetables and please before that taste for salt and maggi if necessary art if not just leave it as it is for me I need to add a little bit of salt and some stock cube i'm just going to cover this for five minutes yes. i'm just going to add in more uh, uh scotch bonnet please if you do not like a lot of heat in your meal this is not for you just add what you can stand okay and i'm going to i'm using baby spinach for this recipe you can use ugu if you want so or tazi but i do not have it and i'm just going to use what i have and uh, it will still come out delicious now you notice that i did not chop my my uh, leaves to little sizes that's because these are baby spinach you don't really need to do much with it besides i love seeing vegetables in big big sizes if that makes sense in my food so just stir this and then finish off with your crayfish i love finish up finishing up my soups with crayfish if you have noticed so just stir that and leave it to cook for five another five minutes and guys so this is after five minutes of cooking it again please look at the texture okay all the consistency i don't know look how slippery that is this is what i like this is how i like my obono if you want your obono to be more thicker than mine just add less liquid if you want it to be less thicker than mine add more liquid add in more stock i do not advise adding 
water because if you add water that means you have to go ahead and add uh, 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 maggi pepper salt and every other thing so it's always good to have some stock stored somewhere for emergencies now guys this is going to be the end of this video i want to thank each and every one of you for staying or watching until the very end i'm really really satisfied with this video i hope you are too with that being said guys please subscribe make this family bigger let's make it bigger together let's grow it together i am sure the end result will be amazing please remain safe and take care of yourselves bye bye